Hey everybody, I'm Jeannie. Welcome back to Magenta Tarot Messages. We're going to be tapping into your energy in the month of March, seeing what's coming towards you and what you should be aware of. I've already shuffled for this and you already know what it is. So let's just begin. I would like to thank everybody for those likes, comments, subscribes, booking those personal readings with me and just being here and giving me your good energy. Alright Virgo, let's see what's going on in March that you should be aware of coming towards the Virgo in the month of March. Okay, hardship. First card out. What's this energy for Virgo? What's coming towards the Virgo in the month of March? What's coming towards the Virgo in the month of March, please? We have spiritual and physical jail. Hardship, spiritual, physical jail, and a Sagittarius. Okay. Um, somebody, this could be a Sagittarius energy and hardship. Somebody in physical and spiritual jail here. This could be your energy, Virgo. You have sp Sagittarius in your chart, and this is just separate. We'll clarify more with more tarot. But I feel like there's the energy of hardship here. There's the energy of somebody being locked up. And, of course, Sagittarius energy. Tell me about this hardship energy. Scissors, separation, cutting out, letting go, and wanting change. I feel like you're going to be be able to separate yourself from hardship. Um, cutting this out, you'll be letting go of something that may have gave you health issues or hardship, Virgo. Tell me about this spiritual and physical gel here for Virgos. Ring, marital union, eternal love, long-term commitment, and meeting a perfect partner. Ah, oh. <laughs> uh, baby. Spiritual jail and meeting a perfect partner, long-term commitment. You could have been like in a union that may have seen like jail, okay? And some type of commitment that may have seen like jail. Or this is somebody else here. Sagittarius energy. We're going to have to clarify with Tarot. Sagittarius energy. Safe. You, What you value is safe. Protect what's yours. Secrets are safe and hidden valuable information. All right. Keep this arrow at the bottom here, Virgo. Well, let's see what this energy is. Tapping into hardship. Who or what is in this energy of hardship? What is in this energy of hardship? The five of wands. Conflict. Rival. Okay. Rival competition in a fight. Somebody here. <clears throat> you definitely could have had to separate from somebody. Okay. Um, this could be somebody you fought. This could be a somebody in competition with you. This could be a rival. Um, Virgo. I feel like letting go of them like separated you from this hardship health issues. But this is somebody in hardship that um, brought a fight towards you. What's the five of wands? The ace of cups. Five of wands and the ace of cups. The six of cups. This is definitely a relationship of the past, Virgo, or a relationship with the past person, or a relationship with a counterpart energy, okay? You definitely could have been with somebody who had this energy, who had this poor health. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. Who is this person, Virgo, had this relationship with? Tell me about the Ace of Cups. The Two of Swords in the Reverse. And the Eight of Pentacles. Whoever you were in a relationship with, there was a lot of indecision. There was a lot of confusion on whether you should um, work things out, whether you should 
uh, have passion for this. And I feel like they they weren't up to your standards, Virgo. The King of Swords in the reverse and the Page of Swords. This is somebody um, who is a liar. Okay, with the King of Swords in the reverse, this is dictator, oppressive, inhumane, controlling type of energy. Page of Swords, they could be watching you, Virgo. Why are you telling Virgo about this in the month of March? The Eight of Cups in the reverse. Somebody's returning. There's somebody returning back. I'm coming back for you. Um, there's somebody in your energy that's returning back here with the Eight of Cups in the reverse. All right. This is somebody who's fearing change and walking backwards. Walking it back. They may be walking back all the things that they said. Um, Virgo, all the lies that they had here. This is somebody you have separated with. This person is in hardship. They may be having health issues here, Virgo. This person could have also brought a decline to your finances and health here. Mental health, physical health, something here. Um, but I'm seeing that this is this person returning. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. The King of Pentacles. Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy here. The Eight of Swords. <clears throat> I feel like this person has a complex, okay? Um, they have a complex about being loyal, stable, being a provider, being a boss, um, being a husband. It's like they have some type of mental conflict. But this is somebody who wants to uh, restrict you by seeming like they want to be loyal, Virgo. This person could be feeling like they're a victim of something as well. Yeah, with the Nine of Swords energy, this is somebody who has a lot of fear and anxiety and depression. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this energy. Nine of Wands, they're wounded, Virgo, they're guarded. Um, this is going to be somebody who you may have your guards up with. They may be trying to take a last stand, a last hurrah here. Judgment, they want to amend things with you. The Queen of Wands, now that you have separated from yourself, Virgo, the Chariot, they want to move towards you. And with the Devil here, this is somebody who is in toxic energy or they're obsessively wanting to move towards you. Um, or they're obsessed with you. So take it as it resonates. This could be somebody from your past returning to you, Virgo, wanting to amend things with you, or this could be a new lover that you may have to fight off and decide whether you want to commit or not to this energy because they're a liar, that they may be in hardship, they may have poor health and toxic energy. So watch out in the month of March for the return of something or someone. I feel like they want to have a conversation. But we're moving on. Marital energy, long-term commitment, meeting a perfect partner, and spiritual gel. Look at the two of cups when I split the deck. Four, four of cups and the two of cups. What's this energy for Virgo? Spiritual and physical gel. Marital union, long-term commitment, meeting a perfect partner. What's this energy for Virgo? Tell me about the spiritual and physical gel. The hermit. Isolation, ghosting, introspection, knowledge. Somebody, you could have definitely been in a relationship that may have been karmic or um, placed restrictions on you physically or mentally. The hermit. Tell me about the jail card here in the hermit. The justice card, the hierophant, and the six of swords. Yeah, okay, Virgo. All right, in the month of March here, you're definitely going to have to go into solitude and really introspect about something. This could feel like loneliness, all right? But I feel like it's the key to get out of something. 
okay because we have the justice card here i feel like this is your justice and why would it be your justice to be like locked up <laughs> it doesn't make sense so i feel like it's your justice to isolate yourself from something that could have been a trap virgo because we have the hierophant and the seven of swords a long-term commitment full of lies betrayal hurt deception somebody trying to lock you up or impose on you tell me about the justice card Somebody could be going to jail, the Hierophant and the Seven of Swords, along with Spiritual Jail, Justice, Hierophant. Tell me about the Justice card. Hmm. The Queen of Wands in the Reverse, the Chariot in the Reverse, and the Judgment card. Okay, the Queen of Wands in the Reverse is somebody demanding, forceful, jealous, selfish, temperamental, or a bully. Chariot in the reverse is locks of direction, lack of direction, forcefulness, two energies of forcefulness, Virgo. Judgment card is like a ruling or a judgment here. It's the energy of somebody being forced to go into jail, okay? I'm not gonna lie, it's like... Things are being forced because of spiritual law or physical law. Spirit could be putting somebody in physical or um, spiritual jail for being forceful or they're being forced into this. And this is their judgment here. What's the Hierophant? The Queen of Pentacles. And the Temperance card. Mm hmm Okay. Somebody is thinking they want to come towards you for information. <laughs> okay, now it's starting to make sense here. They, there's somebody here that wants to come towards you for information, Virgo. You may be like in solitude from this person or like away but they want to come towards you for some type of knowledge but the justice card the hierophant and the seven of swords i feel like this person their institution there's a higher commitment that may have fucked over somebody or something betrayed someone um this energy is coming to you for balance all right they may have been forced into jail some type of ruling some type of judgment um may have forced them into some type of legal annulment i just heard legal legal case there's something here that's going on with this person and they think coming towards you will temper this in some type of way that will balance this okay maybe you can tell them the purpose of this seven of swords the two of pentacles And the Ace of Wands. <clears throat> Two of Pentacles is making a hard decision here. The Ace of Wands is um, something you're excited about, desiring here. So I feel like this person is trying to adapt from something. Or balance out this, this energy to get what they desire here. Queen of Pentacles and the Temperance energy. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? The Wheel of Fortune in the Reverse. Yeah, Virgo. Something's not going in somebody's favor at all. Well, the Wheel of Fortune in the Reverse, it's bad karma. Okay? <laughs> it's bad karma, period. Um, tell me about the Wheel of Fortune in the Reverse. The Five of Cups. Now they're disappointed. Regrets. The loss. Hmm. Okay. King of Pentacles on the bottom. What's the Temperance card? The King of Cups. Yeah. There's a there's a masculine energy here. The lovers. This person could have been a lover. Tell me about the King of Cups. Mm -hmm. The Knight of Swords, the Knight of Wands, and the King of Pentacles. This is somebody who's wounded and taking action. Um, to secure something to get security 
all right um virgo somebody feels like maybe they should have had a long-term commitment with you they should have offered you a long-term commitment i feel like there's several scenarios here they may have met the perfect partner all right and then went towards somebody else and the wheel of fortune turned around for them and now about a bunch of bad shit is happening and now they want to come towards you to see if it straightens back out again like can virgo fix these problems um <laughs> This is going to be somebody coming towards you about their marital issues, okay? This could be totally separate from you, um, friend coming to you for knowledge here. Um, or this is a situation where... Somebody's in spiritual and physical jail, okay? They may have thought that they had met a perfect partner, but in reality, this person forced them into getting something terrible happening to them. And now they think that they can, that you are going to fix it in some type of way. Why does this person think Virgo can fix this? Why does this person think Virgo can fix this? Six of Cups. This could be a sibling or they have some type of past memory here with you. Or in the past, you may have led their lives in a way um, where they have succeeded. So if this was a relationship somebody had with you, when they were in a relationship with you, they noticed that good things happen. If this is somebody from your past, like a friend, they noticed in the past you gave them good advice and the advice that you gave them, the things came to fruition. If this is a family member, ditto, right? Why does this person think coming towards five of swords? Why does this person think coming towards Virgo? Eight of Cups in the reverse. So many things that you can get them out of this conflict. With this Five of Swords, I feel like they feel like you can defeat something. They can defeat some type of conflict by coming back to you. I'm coming back for you. Three of Cups. The Three of Pentacles. In the Knight of Swords, yeah, somebody is impulsively thinking, um, ambitiously thinking that teaming up and collaborating with you, being friends, doing something with you, gathering with you, uh, and learning, being this power couple with you is going to get them out of a situation uh, quickly. Or this is their fast thinking. Somebody uh, may be out their mind because they're in physical and spiritual jail and everything around them is crumbling here. Virgo. Um, so, yeah. There's somebody you separated from. It's like karma all over the board. <laughs> okay. Um, you can be passing out this karma, Virgo. Or people is coming to you with karmic situations, asking you for advice, asking you for help in the month of March here. Uh, be careful of that. Protect what's yours. Like, I, like I'm saying, like, protect what's yours. Keep your information safe. Secrets are safe. Okay, you have hidden valuable information that people may be coming towards you with or for or trying to get back with you because they see you as this bank. They see you as this um, like lottery ticket. Sagittarius energy, your, state, your secrets are safe. What's this energy? Sagittarius, your secrets are safe. Protect what's yours. I feel like protecting you and your family is is very vital because there's a lot of energy that wants to return to you. That wants to come towards you in the month of March. Sagittarius and safe. The S could be significant. We have scissors, Sagittarius, and safe out here. S's could be significant. What's the Sagittarius energy? The Ten of Cups. It could be a family member, somebody you have a family with. The Five of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. Going from the Five to the Six. Going from... <clears throat> 
being left out to a giving energy. Then we have this lack and hardship card here. What does this have to do with Virgo? The temperance, balance, patience. Mm. Okay, Virgo, there could be somebody in your family that is feeling this poverty energy and is going to go from poverty to receiving, or this could be your energy of going from being left out, from being isolated from the family to receiving generosity, care, support here. Temperance, it could take time. There could have been needed to have some type of balance or you could be the balance that um, is shifting something. What's the Five of Pentacles? The Lovers. The Seven of Cups and the Lovers. What in the world, Virgo? Illusion of a choice, illusion of an option. Or somebody who had multiple people here as lovers. Hmm. What's the Seven of Cups? The Knight of Cups and the Knight of Wands. There could be somebody in your family here, Virgo, who's feeling very left out from receiving because of some type of illusion with their lover or some type of illusion of, uh, of a choice they needed to make. I feel like somebody made a choice because they were wounded. Temperance, this person wants to balance things with you. What was the choice that they made? The lovers card? The fool. New beginning. They took some type of risk in collaborating, okay? In learning or with finances. The fool card and the three, yeah, uh, the tower. It took some type of risk, okay, and it involved uh, teamwork or it involved a collaboration here, and it brought a tower to something. Somebody could have, like, stolen from the family. This is what I'm getting, like, someone stole from the family. Somebody, like, robbed your house, all right, and then they helped you look for the things that you robbed, they robbed or something, or, some, or everybody know in the family knows that somebody caused a tower, um... They did something. They did a terrible decision because of poverty or lacking energy. And now they're being left out of the family. Now they're in a tower, Virgo. What's the temperance? The death card. <clears throat> Somebody's waiting for a transition or waiting for something to end. The Eight of Wands, the Two of Cups, and the Queen of Swords. The Death card, Temperance, and the Death card. Somebody's trying to, it was like trying to balance an ending or balance a transformation here. Eight of Wands, the Two of Cups, and the Queen of Swords. That they could have gotten into because of a partnership. I feel like somebody's lover played a big role here. I don't know why this like whole reading involves other people and their lovers and their decisions here, Virgo. Queen of Swords energy. This could be an Aquarius. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. The Six of Cups. The Devil and the Six of Cups. There's somebody here who's very toxic, done toxic things, had a very toxic past. 
Uh, they could be very abusive. They were abusive to you as a kid or abusive in the past. They did something here in the past. They were hoping that their secrets are safe, but it's not. The secrets have been revealed. They've been outcast from the family here. They could have done something against the Sagittarius. Why are you telling Virgo about this? The Seven of Wands and the Sun card. They feel like Virgo... You may be blocking them from success or they feel like they're being blocked off from happiness. Like the family doesn't want anything to do on them. Um, nobody in the family is giving them anything or talking to them, blah, 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 blah. All right, this is outcast energy. Somebody has been outcasted from the family. What did this person do to be outcasted? The high priestess in the judgment. Silent just justice. This person is getting silent justice. Okay, they know they're getting justice. They know this is their justice for doing this here, Virgo. Okay, big, big karma vibes. Big karma, big justice. Big people getting what the fuck they deserve here. Nine of Cups. Yeah, because they, they wanted their own satisfaction. Somebody was looking out for themselves, so they betrayed somebody. Now they're disappointed about this because it has stopped something. It's put an end to a relationship or it's put an end to um, their emotional stability. It's put an end to like, a lot of fucking things here. Okay, so this is the energy in the month of March. You're going to see people receiving karma. <laughs> Straight up and down, Virgo. Um, you are going to <clears throat> see the people that you have separated from come back around here. There's going to be somebody telling you about how their um, marital wife has fucked them over and now they need advice here. And there's another family member in your energy. There's somebody in your energy that may have betrayed the whole family. All right. Now, nobody, they're an outcast of the family and they're, they're in despair. They're, they're... <laughs> Uh, you could have spilt their secrets, Virgo. Um, you could have hidden valuable information about what this person did. And they know you know. And uh, they feel like because of you or because of these secrets coming out, um, they have been outcasted from the family. So it's big outcast energy here. It's big um, karma energy. I feel like everything's coming around full circle. You're going to be seeing things coming around full circle here. All right. I'm going to get one more set of cards for what's personally going to be happening to Virgo in the month of March. What is personally going to be happening to the Virgos in the month of March? The Ten of Wands. Burden, stress, responsibility, hard work, and sacrifice. People may be coming to you with the burdens. I heard the Wiz song, Don't You Ever Bring Me no bad news i feel like there's going to be a lot of people bringing you bad news trying to put this burden and stress on you two of coins juggling adapting decisions Four of Wands and the Nine of Cups. Virgo, you're going to have to um, adapt to a lot of things, okay? You're going to be having to take responsibility or be burdened for success. But um, <laughs> with the Four of Wands, I see you stable. I see you uh, celebrating, actually. I see you having support here. And with the Nine of Cups, I still see you getting wish fulfillment, satisfaction, emotional stability, and living in luxury, Right, so I feel like there's going to be a lot of things coming towards you that you're gonna to have to balance. But your home, your energy, your space is going to be good here. You're still gonna be emotionally satisfied, you're still gonna be um, living in luxury in some type of way. What's the ten of wands and the two of coins? The queen of wands, the high, the dragon, and the nine. The, the Hang Dragon and the Justice card. Okay, you may have to take a lot of responsibility and juggle things because you are alone, Virgo, or you're doing something independently. But with the Hang Dragon and the Justice card, I feel like you're going to... This is like a sacrifice for justice or...
a reward here because because <clears throat> the hanged dragon talks about a pause surrendering sacrifice energy here and then the justice card talks about fairness balance rewards law so i feel like it also talks about enlightenment Oh my gosh, enlightenment on how to balance things. It's sitting right in my fucking face here. I'm sorry, y'all. This energy threw me. But people are going to be coming towards you because they feel like you can enlighten them on how to balance things because you do something independent, okay? There's something about you um, or maybe you haven't experienced these problems. Maybe you're the person that everybody comes to. It's something that uh, you do. You have a lot of charisma. You have a lot of courage and confidence here. You take a lot of action, Virgo. And people are going to be wanting to be enlightened about how to bring balance into their lives or about the justice happening in their lives or the karma happening. I feel like you're in the middle of dishing out a lot of fucking karma. People are going to be having things happen in their life and they're going to be like looking back on you for some reason like ever since the virgo separated from me bad things have happened ever since i separated from virgo bad things have happened in the past virgo gave me good advice to help me balance virgo may have let out some type of secrets um it's the energy of like you in the epicenter of like causing chaos while four of wands and the nine of cups energy while your home is stable while you're getting satisfaction while your needs are met four of wands the nine of cups the ten of cups y'all i can't make it up the nine to the ten of cups you're over here in this happy home happy life dream family energy everything's taken care of your home you're set okay and you're gonna be looking at a lot of people around you going through some things and i feel like that's why they want to come towards you because you are happy in a, in a moment where a lot of people are getting karma virgo a lot of people are having things come around full circle and they're looking at you like you're over here <laughs> you're over here okay balance your family's taken care of everything is good with you and this is the energy this is why people are going to be coming towards you in the month of march so protect your energy here definitely protect what's yours you may have hidden information and hidden valuable information that these people are seeking here but never give up your secrets right never never give up how you do something here virgo tell them tell them go talk to jesus okay <laughs> go talk to jesus uh, that's what i got here for virgo sun moon rising i only say that y'all because just because you're in a position where everything is taken care of doesn't mean you have to take on these negative energies right so don't let you know you know what i'm saying here all right, that's what I got here for the Virgos. Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Venus. If you resonated with anything here, please give me a like, comment down below. Subscribe to the channel to see what's coming up next for the Virgos. And y'all already know, I'm very grateful and thankful for everybody watching. Peace.